We're here with Mackenzie Ott as the Knights sweep the doubleheader over UTEP. They win the game two in dramatic fashion, three to two, but the big story in game one, an eight nothing win in five innings. Mackenzie Otis picks up both wins in the two games, including her second career no hitter. Mackenzie, congrats first on your second no hitter. How does it feel? Uh... <laughs> it feels good. Um, you know, I went out there and today was one of the days that I have felt sharp in a long time and I just hit my spots and it seemed to work out, work it out for me. You become the second UCF pitcher ever to throw multiple no hitters in the school history. Of course, Allison Kine with four is the other one who's to your shoulder to your left. Uh, but then you become the first UCF softball pitcher ever to throw no hitter on this very new complex. So congrats on that. I know you didn't know about that, but tell me about pitching in this home and how much it means to you. You've become the first night pitcher now that you could say, I threw a first no, pitch, uh, no hitter here at the new softball complex. Yeah, I mean, that's really awesome because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of um you know, pitchers after me too, and just to be the first and to be remembered as that, that's pretty cool. You got some great run support in that first game. Mariah Garcia kicked things off at the home run. You got eight runs. Uh, and then game two, you come in relief in a tough spot, but you got a big strikeout and then a throw them out double play there. They caught the runner. That was a huge momentum for you to get out of that bases loaded jam in the second game. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's tough. We I gave up a hit and it scored one run, but luckily we got out of it. I It was just a tough situation and um, like I said, we got out of it. We made a good play. So yeah. you see some of the freshmen. Of course, Mariah had a, a good big home run. KK with some hits. Uh, Taylor Wagner's playing well. Some of the freshmen starting to pick it up here a little bit as we head towards the second half of the year. Yeah, I'm really proud of them. I mean, um, last year as freshmen, we um, you know picked it up when we needed to, and I'm glad that they are because um, you know that's what we need. Is we need people. It doesn't matter what age you are, what class you are. We just need people to step it up. Does this team feel like kind of a new life in a way? I mean, they put the first half of the year behind them, played well in Florida, didn't get some bounces, but I think you got some confidence today with two wins heading into tomorrow, and you kind of have a fresh start here to get off and get on a roll. Oh, for sure. Um, it always helps to win on your home field, too, and just boost our confidence, and I think that after this, we're going to have we're gonna have a turnaround and hopefully just keep winning. Your father was in attendance for today to see your no-hitter. Your mom was not, unfortunately. She worked in Houston. What's wrong with her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was away on business, but... Um, I'm sure my dad was calling her and texting her, so. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to say hello, say hello to your mom and anybody else you want to here. Yeah, hi, Mom. Hi, Grammy and Papa. Love you. That's Mackenzie Otis. Throws her second career no-hitter as the Knights win both games over UTEP today. Congrats, Mac. Thank you.